While it was seen that the Talmudic Jewish lobby is coming out and putting their full support behind, uh, behind the uh, sexualization of children at the hands of many of these really, really perverse drag queen story hours. Really can't say too much because of course the goons over at YouTube, the, their, their little censorship team will come after me as they have in the past. Which is kind of funny because it's like I have a really small channel so how much of a threat do I really pose? But uh, it says here on the article in Jewish Telegraph Agency, it says these Jews are defending Drag Queen Story Hour against far right protesters. Here is why. And also, a funny little thing they do as well is they, they almost, they essentially will, will slander anybody who opposes these these Drag Queen Story Hours, these this sexualization of kids as white supremacists. I will say this though, I, I do support white nationalism, but I'm not like a so called white supremacist as the way they would define it. But it's like they just slander anybody who opposes this this uh, sexualization of children as being white supremacist neo-Nazis. It's just a bunch of garbage, really. But it says here in the article, it says, uh, as, as right-wing, you love that wording, as right-wing protesters descend upon drag queen story hour events across New York, they've uh, frequently been met by a loosely connected movement of counter-protesters that includes many progressive Jewish groups. Since September, right-wing activists have routinely protested drag queen story hour events, sorry, drag story hour events, where a person dressed in drag reads the children. The aim of these stories, according to the founder of the drag uh, story hour New York chapter, is to promote literacy while giving children positive queer role models. Other, otherwise known as indoctrination, uh, the queer role models part. At the Queens Public Library in Jackson Heights, on December 29th, at least five members of, of the Proud Boys, a far-right extremist group, showed up to harass people attending a story session. These protesters were met by hundreds of activists from the other side, many of whom were Jewish, are Jewish. They included members of Jews for racial and economic justice, outlive them, unite against racism and fascism, and other and, and other other organizations. We have a typo there. Uh, we're out. It says we're out here. Said Sharona Farber, th 32 years old, who is a member of a uh, Jewish anti-fascist group, outlive them, which was formed in response to the 2018 Pittsburgh Tree of Life shooting, and has since become involved with other forms of activism across New York, such as fighting for the homeless and against U.S. immigration customs and enforcement's ICE raids. Oh yeah, true, because you know you gotta just fill them up with immigra uh, immigrants, because of course you know that's just how these 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 uh. Moloch worshippers act because like I said I've said in other videos Talmudic Judaism uh, Judaism is a false religion Judaism is Moloch worship and if someone doesn't like that they can just go fly a kite for all I care because you know free speech is not just speech you like and agree with but it says protests have targeted 10 drag queen drag queen story hour events in New York according to the independent reporter Talia June who has been documenting the group on Twitter since September this group of protesters which calls itself the guardians of, Divi of divinity uh, uh, sorry started as an anti-vaccine movement in the pandemic we have lost our jobs have been arrested for protesting this mad uh, this madness a statement on the group's Twitter said now they are coming for your kids with programs like drag queen story hour where they steal your tax money to pay grown men in dresses the read gender questioning books that is a legitimate uh criticism that's essentially what's going on and these jews these talmudic jews are fighting for the right to them to take your tax money to sexualize your kids this is uh, farber told the new york uh, jewish week that uh, last thursday they released 300 people defending drag story hour at the queen's library uh, uh branch from all ages and backgrounds farber added that there are a lot of jews doing behind the scenes work the organizing and the outreach that goes into pulling these defenses off uh jews are so heavily represented in the left farber said that there has been uh re sorry reinfusion of uh, sorry of energy on, on uh, what people call the jewish left and there are people getting self-organized into small groups that do take political action into what they believe is needed to create a better world. Oh yeah, sexualizing kids and, and essentially brainwashing them and then getting to make decisions they, re they uh, regret when they're teenagers. Yeah, that's definitely making a better world. You know, you know, forcing for the right to take my tax money to, to pay some grown guy, a, some grown man in a dress. Yeah, that's definitely fighting for a better world, sure. Well, maybe that's a better world if you're a Moloch worshiper, but that's not the better world if you're actually a normal sane person. I guarantee you I'm going to be getting a hate speech strike for this because the little goons at YouTube don't like this kind of stuff. But hey, it, it's just called, you know, getting up and talking like a man and not really caring what people think. You know, it's something a lot, something that my generation in particular has really kind of fallen away from. I mean, it's, it, I mean, my generation is so pathetic. I, I could say a whole lot more on that, but. 
says uh, uh, Sophie Elman Golan, communications director for Jews for Racial and Economic Justice, another prominent activist group that's defending Drag Story Hour, told the New York Jewish Week that it's important to draw to to drown out fascists and neo Nazis by showing up in solidarity. Uh, when there's a threat of neo Nazi violence against synagogues, the idea is not that we should stop going to the synagogue. Elman Golan said we actually deserve to be able to gather and pray or engage in whatever culture and ritual fitting you know that was satanic ritual we want to we believe that as a, uh that a community as diver uh, sorry of diverse new yorkers coming together to ensure that it that can happen that's the best way to do it with community defense she described the scene as two sides one that included colorful rainbow signs glitter and disney songs hey what a surprise disney involved in this kind of stuff too or the, a disney connection huh doesn't surprise me one bit but well, the other side included a neo-Nazi giving a Heil Hitler salute while talking about the future for white children. So just notice how they try to frame the narrative. One guy giving some kind of Hitler salute, therefore all these drag queen protesters are somehow pro-Nazi. Bunch of garbage. But of course, they can't actually deal with actual debate and criticism, so they have to just slander anybody as being a neo-Nazi. And here's the thing too, this may make somebody upset, but if there are neo-Nazis protesting this, hey, a broken clock is right twice a day. You know, that's not, that's not really too fun to say these days. That's not really, people don't like that, but hey, you know, a broken clock is right twice. Hey, there are Muslims over in Dearborn protesting this kind of stuff. You know, hey, a broken clock is right twice a day. If you don't like that, you can uh, go watch something else because, you know, no one's forcing you to click on this video. But anyway, it says it's a violent attempt to stamp out trans people. Elman Golan said, adding that there is a very clear link between anti-Semitism and transphobia that is increasing at a terrifying rate. Huh, I wonder why. Maybe it's because you guys are the ones defending all this stuff. Could that maybe be why there's a link between so-called anti-Semitism, which again, another little term they use to try to silence any criticism of Judaism and so-called transphobia. Maybe it's because you look at who's defending a lot of this stuff. It, you know, you have these left-wing Talmudic groups. Hmm, I wonder why. It says, uh, Arlia Rothstein, a queer Jewish parent, took her six-month-old child to the Jackson Heights Drag Story Hour last Thursday, told the New York Jewish Week that these shouldn't be controversial events. It's people sharing stories with kids. Rothstein said, there are a bunch of people shouting all kinds of names, things that are really disgusting, that I really don't want to repeat or put it in print. Uh, all we want to do is go to the library and hear some stories for our child. Uh, this is uh, Rothstein's par partner, quote unquote partner, uh, Laura Berth Lima told New York Jewish Week that about that the right wing protesters are embarrassing themselves. It's actually sad, she said. We're doing we're actually doing something talking about love and spreading representation of different types of people. No, it's not called spreading love, it's called brainwashing children. But you see they always have to frame the narrative and these little cute little terms like, oh love is love, you know? Yeah. It's a bunch of garbage. And then I just love that, oh, there's a very clear link between anti-Semitism and transphobia. Maybe it's because it's a very clear link between the Talmudic Jewish lobby and transgender indoctrination. Could that maybe be why? Uh, I mean, this is going to be getting a hate speech strike for sure. So just, you know, stay tuned for that. Because, uh, of course, the you know, there's going to be some little, uh, some, essentially some some thin-skinned, probably Gen Z or, you know, my generation, who is going to get offended at this and going to report this because, of course, they can't stand freedom of speech. So stay tuned. If I get a hate speech strike, it won't be surprising one bit. But this is just the, the truth of the matter of these Moloch worshiping uh, Luciferians, pretty much. You know, it's funny because you know uh, Amos 526 and Acts 743 does mention the fact how their star, their star symbol they have, is essentially a satanic symbol. Well, the drag queen star hour is also Luciferian worship. So I could say a whole lot more on that, but I don't. I, I've already probably you know I'm already going to rustle too many feathers over in the YouTube censorship team. So anyway, uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.